everyone, it's Red Herring. I hope you're all having a great day. This is an unboxing video of the Green Cup of Maine. Any and all links that I mention in this video will be listed in the description below. And if you found anything helpful or interesting in this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. The Green Cup of Maine is reported to have been manufactured completely in the United States. They do have a listing with the FDA and according to the box, their website, and their Amazon listing, they are made out of 100% medical grade silicone. At the time of this video, you can only purchase this menstrual cup on Amazon. Uh, I did notice that their price kind of went up and down and um, I'm not sure if it's going to change again, but the original price is uh, $45.99 I believe and their sale price is $24.99. Um, I did see that it went on sale and then it went off a of sale and then went on sale and I tried to contact them asking should I buy it now or not um, and I had some communication with them but finally in the end I went ahead and purchased mine. Uh, I didn't you know, feel the need to contact them anymore. I saw that it was being uh, given away or sold and so I just went ahead and purchased it on my own. I'm going to do a quick turnaround of the box so that you can see all of the sides. Um, I'm going to be quiet during that duration so that if you need to pause it and read you can. Oh, so here's the front. <laughs> I was already going to start moving in. When I first saw this cup on Amazon, it wasn't for sale yet. It was kind of like a preview that it was going to be uh, released soon or launched soon. And when I first saw the picture, it was clear like this. The cup was, uh, or the picture was clear. So that is what I had expected to receive. Um, and then I contacted the company and they said it was actually more of a white. And then one of my buddies posted a picture of the box, which wasn't on Amazon at the time but it showed this picture and uh, I actually thought this was a cutout right here and that you could see the cup from inside the box but that is itself a picture so you don't see right through it and in that photo it is a white cup so um, I wasn't really sure exactly what I was going to get. I do have Amazon Prime, so I went ahead and ordered it, got free shipping, and it arrived at my house within three days. Here is the inside of the box. Here is the cup that's inside of the cotton bag that it comes with. It is a drawstring pouch. It's branded on one side, the green cup of Maine, and blank on the other side. The cup is not sealed in a plastic and for me that's just fine. I don't need it to be in a useless piece of plastic that I'm going to throw away anyhow. You get the cup, you get the bag, and you get the box. So the only instructions or directions that are listed here are on the box itself and I did already do a turnaround of this. Uh, if I was a first time user I would probably have to go look up more um, instructions on the internet, YouTube. So here is the Green Cup of Maine. It kind of reminds me of the Diva Cup, just the way that it's finished off. It's frosted, so it's not clear. If I insert my finger, you can see my polish here, but if I move it to the back, my finger kind of disappears. So starting with the stem, this is a stick style stem. It's nice and short. I actually like it a lot. If you're the type to cut off your stem, this is a nice uh, short stem already. It is a little squishy. I'm going to try to squish it here so that you can see and it moves in all directions great little um, piece of silicone holding it on there it does have some stretch but it is such a small piece it doesn't go too far there are no grip rings right on that stem again because it's so small there are a couple steps on the stem or the base of the stem. So here's one here and here's another here. And they're kind of squared off. It looks like they're rounded, but um, it, 
it does jut out just a little bit and then rounds off and then goes down like a step. So uh, I wouldn't really call those grip rings. It is um, part of the seal between the actual cup or the bowl of the cup to the stem. There are three grip rings here on the base of the cup and they're they're not raised too high off of this cup, but they're not so low that you don't get a good grip on it. So I'm going to put it up against the black of my chair there, and I'll run my nail over it. It's kind of a muted sound, so usually that kind of says that it's not as high as some of the other cups. The other cups with a very pronounced um, grip ring will make quite a bit of sound or it, it pops a lot louder on camera. That seal between the stem and the bowl of the cup is right at the top grip ring. And so you can trim the stem off all the way down to this grip ring, well right above that grip ring, uh, so that this cup is a little bit shorter if the stem is giving you problems or if it's still too long. As I mentioned, the cup is frosted, so it does kind of have this uh, texture to it, like a peach skin. Um, I don't know how else to describe it, but it really remi reminds me of the Diva Cup. However, uh, the Diva Cup, when I pinch the cup and try to pull my fingers off, my fingers slide kind, kind of quickly off of that silicone. And when I do that with this cup, I pinch my fingers and pull. My fingers do slide off, but not very quickly. So it's a little bit grippier or more grippy than the Diva cup. I have not tried to wet it yet. Moving up the cup, they do have a secondary rim. I hope you can see that because my light is uh, right here. Um, so the transition between the body of the cup and that secondary rim is really, really slight. You can barely see it. It's right there. And that will be a nice design for anybody that's sensitive. Uh, you don't have that big bulge or bump to get over when you're inserting or removing your cup. That secondary rim is a little bit thicker in that area than it is down here on the body of the cup. Uh, it gives a little bit more firmness, but not very much. It feels very, very slight compared to the body, uh, but just that little bit of firmness might be enough to help you get your cup to open. There are four air holes or suction release holes, however you want to label them, around this cup and they are evenly spaced around right underneath the rim. So there's two on this side and two on this side and they're kind of small. I know that they look large on camera right here, but they are kind of small. They're actually, I wouldn't consider them a pinhole, but I wouldn't consider them a medium, so they're kind of between those two. These holes are punched straight through. It creates for easy cleaning. However, I do have some um, inconsistencies in the holes themselves. Some of the holes on the inside are larger than the hole on the outside, and a couple of them are a little bit jagged. Those are on the inside, so it's not really gonna affect me. It's not like I have extra pieces of silicone on the outside of the cup that's gonna rub against me. The only reason why I wanna mention that is because if you you are trying to clean it, you might have to take more care in those areas. There is one seam found on this cup and it's right on the outside of the rim. So hopefully my camera is going to pick it up here. There you can see it right there. And for the most part, uh, it's cleaned up, but uh, I can just ever so slightly feel it with my fingertips. There is no extra pieces of the silicone that I can see when I place it up against my finger. There are no other markings on the outside of this cup besides the grip rings. The inside, however, has a few different things I'll mention. So right here it does say Made in Maine, USA. And if I turn it, here is a number two to indicate that I have the size large. It, that doesn't really show up as well. Um, and right underneath the two, there is measuring lines and numbers. These are in ounces, so that's half an ounce here. 
and on the other side or just across from the ounces there are measuring lines and numbers in milliliters. Overall, this is a perfectly well-made cup. It really, really reminds me of the Diva Cup. I'm going to go ahead and hold my Diva Cup up against it so that you can see. And uh, it is a little softer than the Diva Cup, so if you like the shape and size of the Diva Cup, but it's a little bit too firm, then the Green Cup of Maine might be a good alternative for you. It's probably better for somebody that has a medium to high to very high cervix. Anyhow, that was my unboxing and introduction to the Green Cup of Maine. If I missed anything or if you had additional questions, you're welcome to leave me a comment down below. If you're interested in photos or squish comparisons, you're welcome to leave me your request down below. Until I see you next time, take care.